Peace and respect. This is Digihiti and Ampu Temple. Yo, cosmic attendant, Michinero Runujis. This video is about vegans are not meat eaters. If Dr. Sebi can't um if Dr. Sebi can't make make y'all understand, I'm gonna make y'all understand. A lot of people believe a lot of people are tricked into believing that we need we need uh we need matter or like so we need solid matter. We need to live all sol solid matter to live. Or we need to eat solid matter to live, including nutrition. And that's false. And I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why. We only need. We only need nutrition. We don't need no solid matter. Nutrition. Plants have protein. All nutritious. Plants have no fat. But only calories. Flesh have fat. Solid matter. And a lot of toxins. Like me. Look at me. I'm flesh. I have fat. But not that much. I'm a plant eater anyways. I have a little fat. I have you know I mean, chemicals that will be toxins if you was to eat me because you're not a meat eater or a flesh eater. Those dumb things put stress in your body, put stress in your cells, stress in your mind and everything. The reason why people are so aggressive or what not aggressive, but uh, can't control their emotions, can't control their ways, can't control their temperature, can't control their heat. Body temperature, stuff like that. They have the heat flashes and stuff like that. We get our protein for plants. Look at me. Pure muscle. When you eat meat, you don't get um, protein and a muscle for meat. You get fat. And that makes your muscles look big because your muscles trying to wrap around that fat. So your muscles look so your muscles look mutated and shit. You know what I mean? You don't see the true form and true, you know what I mean, the true cuts, and you don't get to see all the veins. Like me. Now, you know what I mean, yeah, like six, seven years ago, yeah. I was very bulky because I had a lot of a lot of flesh in me. You know what I mean? A lot of outside flesh in me, meaning that I was eating animals. Flesh that is not mine. Outside flesh, chemicals and all that. Yeah, that's all I eat. I eat greens and plant-based foods, synthetic foods. And look at me, 13 years in the game. Get all, I mean, all my energy, everything's faster. Reaction time faster because I don't have the um, the um, the toxins in my body from that from the bodies that y'all eat. The toxins stayed in you. It, it just stays in you for for a long period of time, and then. It interferes with your performance. Your breathing, all your all body it, it interferes with your body functions. All your body functions. Your breathing, everything you can think of interferes with it. Your emotions, everything. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's like thousands of functions that it interferes with, or hundreds of functions interferes with. So ain't no sense of me trying to name them all, because I could be here all day and just name them one after the other and another and another and another. We're not, we, you know I mean, we're not beings all based off solid matter. We're beings based off nutrition. We just need to eat just to have the energy. You know what I mean? I don't know, man, a little matter, but not that much. You know what I mean? Just enough to just be a plant. But we based off energy, nutritious. Look at the animals. It's right here in your face. Are you to say that you're like your body? You no, know I mean, like we all, like we all born on this planet Earth. We born on this planet Earth. So that means nature made you to be on planet Earth, to, to survive on planet Earth, to eat what planet Earth grows. So, you know what I mean? Not making you to eat, I mean, to be a full grown adult after you drink your own mother species milk, then move to drinking a cow mother's milk. Are you saying that you that nature made, created you the perfect nature, almighty created, you know what I mean, nature that does nothing, that does not do nothing you know what I mean? Without any sense. Nature always makes sense. Nature is connected to a rhythm. Nature always is in a pattern. Nature don't do nothing that's not in the pattern. Like nature put thorns on a caterpillar for protection. You know what I mean? Nature puts 
you know what I mean? Um, we call it the Spencer's on them on a on a, on the heads of an ant for for eating and grabbing whatever you know what I mean is going to carry or whatever and fighting ant protection. So nature always do things to make sense. Nature does not, you know what I mean, do things that does not make sense. So are you telling me that nature created you, what you call yourself, human beings, to be a full adult and and drink milk all your cow milk all your life? That's false. You don't need protein. You don't need fat. Look at the gorilla. Really eat nothing but grass. Look at the rhino. They eat grass, elephants, eat leaves, and all that. They the biggest, strongest creatures on the planet. The biggest, strongest creatures on the planet are vegans. So are you saying that, you know what I mean, you are exempt from nature? Or you are exempt from this planet Earth, the other nature on this planet Earth? You are special, but you're, you know what I mean, still, but you're special, but you're the weakest when it comes to surviving? You know what I mean, or are you living on the same plane as lions and tigers and bears? Oh my. The same vibrant level? Yeah. That means you're not better than them. That means you're on, you're equal with them, equal to them. You got to eat animal, they got to eat animal. So basically, you're no different from them. <laughs> you're not a god to the bear, and the bear's and the bear's not a god to you. Both of y'all on equal levels when it comes to survival. <laughs> you know, the bear don't choose to eat. That's in the bear's nature, but you choose to eat animals. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go to bed. I'm not going to say because. That's self-explanatory for people who's high level of frequency, high level of frequency, high conscious. I'm not going to explain everything. I'm just explaining my point that beings like me are made to eat plants, fruits, plants type foods only. We don't need matter. We don't need flesh. We don't need fat. We just need nutrition to move and have that energy to keep them on the stake. And we're made to keep eating on me like like grazing, like you know what I mean, like every other couple of hours because we eat light. We don't eat flesh. Our food, you know what I mean? We made to eat food that go runs in and out of us so we can keep it moving. Not go to sleep and just, you know what I mean? That's not a perfect being. A perfect being is not stop moving, energize moving, eat something to keep it moving, eat and keep it moving. What y'all eat is flesh. You can't keep it moving. You stuffing full. You can't do nothing. You'll get cramped up and all that. That's my point. I proved the points. Nutrition. We just made to eat nutrition. That's it. This nutrition. Y'all have been tricked. Y'all have been lied to. That you made you gotta eat fat. You gotta eat meat to survive. They don't even make sense. Look at your teeth. You know what I mean? Yeah, you look at yeah, look at the gorilla's teeth. But that's all a slant to it. But the gorilla still eats nothing but plants. Yeah, gorillas not turning in flesh. Gorilla, you know what I mean? Gorillas are not flesh eaters or meat eaters. So that's one of the points proven. You don't need no solid matter. You just need energy. You just need the fire because the plants have it all. Plants have so much nutrition. It's not even funny. You no, know I mean, like, how are you going to put a damn sticker on a plant or put a sticker on an animal? How are you going to put a damn a sticker on, an, I mean, like a label on an animal and say it has this nutrition in it? All that shit, you know, I mean, y'all seeing is all lie. Lie, 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 lie. You can't label us. It's like putting a label on me. And saying this, yeah, you're gonna get this much protein from me. And y'all believe y'all believe the phony hype or the phony the phony um Disney World fantasy foolery. <laughs> and know me, and that's y'all. And know me like me. I used to do it too, so everybody eats to their own. So the good thing is if you're watching this video, take heed, take note. Think about it. Don't just listen to me. Sit back and think about it. Experience, test what I Test what I talk. You know what I mean? See if what I speak is true. You know what I mean? That when you go vegan and stop eating certain things to open up other channels to other things that you, that, you know what I mean? Other meats or egg or egg or egg feces, animal products that you ain't supposed to be eating does to your body. It lets you know what it does to your body. It opens up channels and you know, to your senses and lets you know, opens your senses up that, that, that's that been, you know I mean, covered up from, clogged up from all the toxins you eat from, from the flesh. It lets you know what's going on. So there you have it. Try it. Because, you know what I mean? Like I said, you know what I mean? You still got people to this day, you know what I mean? Brothers and sisters saying they still believe it. You need cheese and all that crap.
You know I mean, it's, it's the thing about it. That's why people look funny. People look like walking walking potato heads, body parts. You think you think the you think what you call human or whatever you want to call a species or this species? You no, know I mean? you think we made to be big and this and that? No, we just made to be energized. We made to be slim. We made, we made to be lean. We made to be quick as possible and strong as possible, but not by eating a bunch of flesh. <laughs> If we're if we're really made to eat a bunch of flesh, bro, <laughs> we're not really made to um, evolve any further than that. You know what I mean, than animals. Period. Because we gotta always have animals with us everywhere we go. You got to you know what I mean. So right there, that's your that's the point proven. You have to be in a habitat if you made to eat flesh. But you no, know I mean, yeah, today you have grocery stores. No, but let's no. I mean, let's let's go back at the beginning where nature, where the before were stores. Okay, thank you. People talking about you eating cows, but there wasn't cows back then. All that stuff, cows, all that. You know I mean, all these animals, pigs on the farm are all um, we call it um, genetic engineered. So yeah, there were bison, moose, ox. It wasn't cows, but anyways, yeah. You know what I mean? Do your research. <laughs> So yeah, you know I me. Mean? We're plant eaters to the fullest. We don't need material. We don't need solid matters. We don't need to eat flesh. We need we we just need to eat the flesh or the matter of the plants and the juices of the plants. Because every plant and fruit has its um has its, has its attribute what it does to our bodies. Has its you know I me mean? think has its own job what it does to our body. Some some greens gives our body um energy. Some greens. Um, heals our body from the um, labor that we do or exercise, whatever you want to call it, from the physical movements that physical movements throughout the day that you do. So then you have fruits there. Some fruits give you energy. Some fruits give you um, heals you like potassium. So, you know, yeah. yeah. Then you have herbs. No, I mean, it just keeps going. Plants are plants. Are, plants are it. Plant is the food. Plant is the food. Think about it. How are you going to put, say, chicken is chicken is how you say call another species food? This and that, you know what I mean? You think you're getting all protein, you need that to survive. You know what I mean? You need to, you know what I mean? That's all, you know what I mean? They all make you weak in the stomach and in the mind. They make you, um, you mean, they make you everything weak. Make you, they make you, they got you addictive instead of being living and eating. Y'all just addictive to the meat. Y'all not, y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all not eating the meat. Y'all just addicted to it now. Yeah, because, you no, know, yeah. You're addicted to the taste. You addicted to the um, addicted to the um, slaughter, the fat. I mean, the I mean, you call it the death of the taste of the death. That's what it is. It tastes blood. I remember when I used to eat beef. I mean, I always taste the blood and smell the blood. I knew what it tastes like. I mean, every time I ate beef, I always taste it. No matter how much it's cooked, meatloaf, whatever, you can still taste the blood. You can see the you know I me mean, blood. It's just not red. It's you know I me. Mean, it's like it's fluorescent. And, and you can see it's like, you know what I mean? It's oil on top of oils. That's chemicals, different body chemicals from that species on top of another body chemicals from that species. So, yeah, there you have it. I want to point out another thing, too. Like I said, um, like one of y'all said, intuition, intuition and perception is intelligence. Yeah. It's intelligent, yeah. It's intelligent, but of course, if it's, of course, it's not intelligence if you, you know I me mean, use it and you're doing wrong stuff. Yeah, duh. You no, know I mean it doesn't mean it's intuition perception is not intelligence. It's still intelligence because that's what you're supposed to use. You no, know I mean because you're using it and, and doing the wrong thing. Your intuition perception is 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 wrong. It's weak. It's low. It's, that means pathetic. It's wrong. You need to up your intuition. You need to up your perception. You know what I mean, this such thing as wrong perception, and it's such thing as right perception. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Of course, you know what I mean? You're not going to follow the guy with the wrong perception, but you're going to follow the guy with the right perception or intuition. And that's that. Simple as that. This is Manchu Nature Nujis. Do you hear the end and poo temple? Catch you next time. Do a part two to this. Peace and respect.